name is Harvey White. I'm the project manager at 50 Fenchurch Street. It's an island site bounded by um, roads on three sides and the Minster Court building to the south. The final scheme will be a 37 storey tower and there's a grade one listed church tower which gets retained and will be open to the public. As the site's located in one of the oldest parts of London, there, about 80% of the site is covered by archaeology. Kelpway have come in, working with the client and the client's engineers. We will underpin that tower and sit it on four plunge columns whilst we do the excavation and then we'll build a three-storey basement beneath it. Integrated approach that Kelpway now apply to major projects. Um, we have one core team um, which started at the beginning of the job and um, that will carry through to the end and we'll deliver that as one team to the client for the duration of the job. My name is Kevin Ramsey, I'm an assistant project manager for Calpray. Temporary works propping scheme that's in place at 50 Fen Church Street has been done as a collaborative effort between Calpray, Wentworth and our prop supplier. The piling is split into two phases. The first phase includes a 1200 diameter seacamp wall encompassing the perimeter of the site. The second phase will lower a small piling rig into the basement and that will complete the core bearing piles at the low level. For the capping beam installation, we've maybe completed about 30 metres, linear metres of the capping beam. They wrap around the full perimeter of the site on all four elevations. We partly commenced the bulk excavation phase. That full sequence will require 81,000 metres cubed of existing ground material to be removed from site. And it's gradually done to reduce down the level. The full depth will be around 18 metres from road level. In order to manage the historical preservation at 50 Penn Church Street, Copray are working with a number of organisations putting in temporary works designs in order to protect the existing assets on the project. So that includes working with our structural engineers, preservation engineers and MOLA in particular on the job. I'm Ashling Reynolds and I'm Head of Environment Sustainability at Calbury. We are working closely with the client and the main works contractor to forecast our predicted body carbon for our works. It's really important that at an early stage we identify any potential challenges and then tackle them together. Um, we've also assisted the client in delivering on some of their um, circular economy ambitions. It's really important for projects to embrace circular economy principles because it can firstly help reduce waste. This in turn can ha has the potential to help us reduce the embodied carbon of the development. And then another fact is that it helps preserve resources. As well as that, um, it's particularly on this project there is a lot of historic features and by salvaging those for a reason a new development has helped preserve that historic value as well. I'm Nika Mikalakis, I work for Yard9, I'm um, uh, one of the associate directors working on the construction side and delivery. Yard9 have worked with Kelpray before. For the project it's key that we're all on the same page and we keep moving the project forward and I have not felt at any point so far that the Kelpray team have been misaligned with us. So this is obviously a flagship project for Kelpray and it will be one of the largest buildings um, in the City of London and um, also one of the greenest. It'd be good to see the project conclude, I think it would look great in the landscape for the City of London.